This video explains how to calculate the median absolute deviation using the MAT function in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you several examples and the first example is based on the vector object that we can create with line two of the code. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of R Studio that we have created a new data object, which is called X. And this data object contains eight different numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the median absolute deviation of this vector object. Then we can apply the MET function as you can see in line four of the code. And within this function, we simply need to specify the name of the vector object for which we want to calculate the median absolute deviation. So if you apply line four of the code, you can see at the bottom that a new output is returned, which is showing the value 2.2239. And this value is the median absolute deviation of our vector object X. So in this first example, I have explained how to calculate the median absolute deviation of a vector object. However, it's also possible to calculate this metric for a data frame column. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line six of the code. So in line six of the code, I'm loading an example data frame, which is called Iris. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of R Studio that a new data object is appearing, which is called Iris. And in line seven of the code, we are printing the first six rows of this data frame to the R Studio console. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the bottom that a new output is returned, which is showing the structure of our example data frame, the iris data set. Now let's assume that we want to calculate the median absolute deviation of the column simple length. Then we can apply the MAT function as you can see in line nine of the code. And in this line of code, I'm specifying the name of our data frame. So the data frame is called iris. And then I'm using the dollar operator to extract the values of the column simple length. And to this, I'm applying the MAT function. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see that the value 1.03782 is returned to the R Studio console. And this is the median absolute deviation of the data frame column simple length in the data frame iris. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.